Hello and welcome. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining. So today I'm doing something a little different. I don't usually do this. But we're out walking. Yes, I love walking. Uh, we're exploring somewhere. Yes, the place is abandoned. Um, I won't tell you just yet on where I'm going. I'll let you watch the video. Then uh, I'll give you a little bit of history about the place. Um, when we get there okay um if you've not done already guys smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you've not done already okay come with me we're doing what rather steep bit that we're doing up. It's all steep, tell you the truth. I do apologise, I do sound a bit out of breath. Yes, I am. It doesn't take much for me to be out of breath. <sighs> um, we've got something there. Uh, something here I'll just show you. I know this area, but yeah, but we've got this. Well, that's been placed randomly. Well, look at this. Look at this view, guys. I'm only uh, not very high up at the moment. You will get a better view. I'll walk a bit further up. Yeah, that's where we're going. The video doesn't actually um, show it too well. It is pretty, pretty steep. Um, it's steep enough. Anyway, we crack on. Get walking. I'll go try it. Not yet. Um, Well, it's, pretty, it's all new to me. It's about uh, this time where I wish I had a dog. Um, dog with me for company. Then for the future. It'll be Steve Owen. I don't know. Charlie. Or oh, Oscar. Oh, something like that, maybe. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm rambling. Literally rambling. <laughs> rambling and scrambling. This is really tiring. I can't tell you. <laughs> I've been in work all day. I thought, oh, once I finish, 
I've been meaning to come up this way a while, up to here, and show you guys around. I thought, yeah, I'll come up and uh, the little walk around. It's harder climbing this than I thought. Now, the other way you can access it's, um, it's flat, but the road's a lot further. This is more direct. It's just uphill. Show you around again. Stretching the breath. Yeah, that has. Seems to uh, go a bit flat here, which I'm thankful of. So there's a steep climb and it's done uh, flat here, which is, uh, which is great. I can uh, pick my speed up a little. Of course, while you're watching this, I know where. Uh, I'm speeding the video up a little bit so it's not in uh, exact real time otherwise uh, it would be a very long one nice to get out and enjoy the fresh air and enjoy the countryside enjoy the wildlife very relaxing here yeah. a lot of midges around I don't know if you can see them probably not but uh, I can see them a little uh, glen here the water's running down Of course, up there, like this. So, originally, it was called the Lootout Tower. Then, the, uh, then it changed its name to uh, Dovecote Tower. Then it changed to as it is now, called the P Pigeon Tower. And this building was built between 1905 and 1909. Um, just take you around. Turn around a bit. Yeah. Like this. Let's go back so you can see it. So, so this building has four floors connected by a narrow winding staircase. 
the top floor of the fa of the house is a sitting room with fireplace and a chimney. The upper floor is believed to be fitted with sewing equipment and musical instruments for Elizabeth Ellen Ellen's entertainment. Now Elizabeth Ellen was Lord Leverhulme's wife. Now this was the guy who owned all this land around. Um, you now I've done another video a few months ago about uh, Liverpool Castle. So this is a uh, this is basically a follow up from that. Um, so Lord Leverhulme owned all this land. And this was actually um, built and dedicated to Ellen for one of her birthdays. It was actually built for her birthday. So, as you notice, it has got windows. So. I've not been all the way around the property. So, it's got windows on. So, the windows face the north, east, and the south, and not westwards to a particular spectator viewers of the plans of landscape and coastline. It tells us that the Pigeon Tower was designed to loot upon or primarily to loot from the beautiful cylinder staircase creating the stunningly western aspect. The staircase itself is interesting. Most castles and old fort buildings have clockwork ascending stairs so that the right hand swordman could fight and as they ascend or descend. The Pigeon Tower was never conceived as a defence and the staircase ascended in an anti-clockwise direction. It's just a little bit of history about the place. I'll put a few pictures in as well which I've, uh, I've managed to uh, get hold of, of this place. I'm going to go for a walk around it. This is building. Let's go through here. It's very really nice. Uh... That's a view from up here. There it is, like that. Of course, we need to uh, wander around. Got the windows there. See if the information I've got is correct. There's windows at the very top. So we go up. There's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not quite. I'm not sure. Little peepholes, but they're not uh, they're not actually proper windows. So the information I did uh, get is correct. So this is a uh, a picture of inside. This was on the upper floor. And it's got some writing here, which is in uh, a foreign language. So here, as it says, above the fireplace on the top floor, you will find emblazoned. A letters spelling out wheel. This referred to the initials of William Estes Elizabeth Ellen Lever. There is also the Latin phrase mature vel tamro soprano. Sorry if I've got that um, that saying wrong. Which was the Lever's motto and translate to I spun the fear to change showing what the revolution 
figure he was. There you go. A few more pictures of it. I'm just showing you on the uh, on the board, which is uh, outside the property. Um, that's that. And of course, I would expect this place to be locked. We will try it, of course. So the latch opens, but you can't get in, of course, it's locked. Oh well. Right. So what we'll do now, we'll just go for a wander around the property. So, see here, at the front here, some stairs, steps, which go down. I'm led to believe down here there's some gardens which attach to the property. And apparently these are Japanese gardens. Apparently, yeah, um, what I've read. But uh, yeah, we'll make our way down and have a look around. If you look here, so it looks like it was some kind of balcony at some point. From the way it is, it may have come out over the land a bit. And here's the arches which are still left. We'll just uh, we'll just go through these arches and uh, show you. So yeah, it looked like if you looked at the wall there, there has been something up at this point here, up here, up here. There was something up there. So perhaps at some point there has been some kind of uh, bridge that brought you out and be in a nice looting area. So if you look down there, you can see see all the uh, beautiful views. Wow, so impressed with this place. So oh, nice. And you see down there, nice uh, little uh, pond, which is on the uh, on the property. Nice stone path here. Lovely stone path. And just walk down. Walk down a bit. more steps I'm not too sure what this is but again it may be uh, maybe it been a patio of some kind back in the day so you could overlook overlook the light down here um, who knows Make our way down. More steps. Love the steps. Now they're uh, doing it. So if we just come to this point, we'll turn around. And now we'll look up at this place. Wow. Such a ornamental building. Wow. I love this. So nice. Just stop while I take a few pictures. We do, we're just taking a couple of pictures there. So didn't want you to miss out too much, so started recording in the next no time. Where we are? Well, I don't know what this was, but uh, some kind of building. Looks like it's been used for storage, um, perhaps. It's a bit uh, hard to see. Maybe. Can't really see much, but uh, you can see a bit.
for this place. Well, until recently, I didn't actually, I knew about the pigeon tower. I didn't actually realize about this. So this is probably, it was some kind of shed. Um, a storage area, because I'm led to believe on the uh, lake down here, they used to have little boats uh, on here. So perhaps this was a shed and where they kept stuff. But uh, it is rather big. Um, there's nothing, uh, nothing too much in here. And uh, just show you around there. Not a great deal in there. But uh, let's pull the camera out. Look at these beautiful walls here, made out of stone. So this stone would have turned, there's a local quarry, not too far from here. So more, more than likely all the stone around here would have been sourced locally off the land. Just go in this side here, just so you're not missing any. Oh, there's something on the floor there. It looks like an umbrella or something. But otherwise, this place is uh, empty. There you go, some more stairs. Let's go to this side. I lit up at that place, at the property. Wow. Such a nice view. Okay, we'll have a wander down. This bridge, we're on our pathway. There's a little holes in it, made like that. Wow, this is nice. It's very nice. Can we come on to another little bit here. This was, uh, this has uh, recently been refurbished, as you can tell, or, or I think it has. It's had like railings put on here, but. Uh, it's maybe a refurbish so uh, the people can come and view the land. If you look, you can see down there. Change yeah. and get back. Yeah. If you borrow it, yeah, go on. If you borrow it, yeah, refer from that. Yeah. Still got miles and miles. That's going to be in the gearbox and the cuts and everything. Yeah. I'm just seeing the same. Some kind of other structure down there. Yeah. Then any damage. Right. If you can take care of that, I will feel better. Wow. Well, this place, so this looks like it was another kind of storage area. Um, this is uh, pretty nice. Straight out. Go 
it round up there. And round to here. Like this. You can see all the uh, woodland here. You can see the trees have been really chopped back, or have been chopped back. So you can tell where the trees have been. But uh, in the future, in the past, should I say? But, uh, very nice place. Yes. Well, this is a woodland here. Okay, we'll just go uh, back through. We'll wander around this uh, little pond here. Just see what there is. See if we uh, explore, find anything else. There's a building up there. Just stop a moment. Okay, so we're back recording. You can see. Like this. This is really shallow. Shallow on water, so you can see the bottom. And the, uh, the twigs and that, which are in the water. And the moss. It is really, uh, really empty on that uh, water. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. Maybe, I'll stop, I'll try to zoom in on this point, see if you can see it. A little bird there, walking around on the water. Um, just hold it still, you may see it, you may not. Well, this looks like here, at the back here, a waterfall. So water would have rushed down here, and you can see where the water has been hitting the ground all the time, and uh, moss has grown, and you can see like the the decay of the rock. Um, that's uh, nice. I bet this place is really nice when it's uh, when there's a bit of water around. That's running there. You got the building up there, you can't see it because it's hidden by the trees. But yeah, so it's uh, very nice. I like this bit as well, what they've done here. Um, so, obviously, as I said, this is the waterfall, so it'll come down here. Then if the water gets to a level that it's about to overflow, there's this bit here. So it breaks through, so the water will rush through here. Right. And it'll go down here. So this is an escape route for the water. Which is a very ingenious idea. Let's keep walking. Here we are, we've got this. So, the Italian Lake was one of the earliest areas of the terrace garden to be completed. It was designed by the prophylic and well presented garden designer Thomas H. Molson. Let's see some pictures of it being dug out here. Some more pictures here. This area was inspired by Villa di Esta near Rome, as Molson was convinced that the Roman rem Reminiscent style hillside garden were the finest in the world. They're probably all the volunteers there who uh, helped to uh, do this place. Well, so impressed with this place, so nice.
So we're just turning and walking down the path a little bit here. Um, there's a bit more to spot. Then uh, I'll wander back up or when I've got to the uh, bottom of here. And um, yeah, I'll take you up the other steps. And yeah, we're just uh, going down some more steps. There's another balcony. So it's like it's in stages. Maybe you'll uh, you'll walk down so many steps, and this is a beautiful view that parts through the trees here, like this. Very nice. As I did say, it is like Japanese style. Um, Stop here a second while I uh, plug in my battery and just get some charge. There you go, we're back on charge. We've got some uh, power going into my uh, camera so it doesn't go flat on me. So here we are. There's another one of these uh, little buildings here. So I'm, I'm starting to think these, these may be, as well as storage, they could have been some kind of little shelter, you know, to. Uh, basically come and just enjoy the view um, maybe because uh, it is very decorative especially for something that was built in the early 1900s um, be more decorative uh, than a standard shed let me just walk down Just uh, do a quick look up there. Let's just see. Nice building, something. Just wander down, so as I was on about earlier on with the um, the waterfall from the lake, you can actually see the bottom of it here. So I'll take you down at the bottom of those steps and I walk along this short little uh, path and the uh, bottom of the fall. Just taking my time. Just a general stroll we're having. About an hour, maybe.
you can see here, it would have been the, uh, the original um, waterfall which was coming down. Just wander over to this plaque here, see what it says. Right, so welcome to Rivington Terrace Garden, a magical place of hidden past structures. A lake set in 45 acres of hillside. A few pictures. Trying to uh, get the shadow out a bit for you guys. So apparently, where the, uh, you'll see here, so here, originally, at the very top of the hill, there was a bungalow um, set back. Um, and uh, I, I'm led to believe there was uh, some kind of fire, and the place uh, got torn down. Oh man made, just all that rock. Oh, this is uh, another one, Lever's Bridge. This one, wow. This is very nice. Very uh, decorative. Just walking towards it slow. Look at them beautiful uh, arches there. So, the Seven Arches Bridge, or the African Bridge, which it's known as, was specially commissioned for Lord Leverjum, um after a bridge that he'd seen while on his travels around Africa and positioned it to provide access to the summer houses on, and a routine routes up into the terrace garden or the formerly sandy lane which is a hollow below. Um, yeah, so it's basically, uh, when it was on, uh, just to uh, basically access onto this ground it's saying. Um, so I'm, I'm getting this information off uh, about iPhone Rivington .uk just to uh, just let you know where I'm uh, actually getting the information from. I'm just showing you from the other side. So again, I knew about this place, well, until recently I didn't actually know where it was located. I've seen it on uh, a few videos around on the place of Rivington, but I didn't actually know where it was actually located. Um, I'm standing probably about uh, 50 yards away from it at the moment, trying to get it in full focus. And, uh, there you go. Start to stop the film for a second there with a few people passing by. So I just uh, prefer when there's people passing, if I can help it, um, I'll stop the video. Um, I know like said before when I was wandering down there were two guys talking, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a dog there, so I'm just uh, just staying away for it, from it for a second. Um, I just wander up this way. 
over here. It's touching the polluting side of one of these uh, these arches. We'll start to wander back up. I won't retard it on the way back up because obviously you've seen it on the way down. But um, when I get to the other bit, oh, yeah, when I get to the other bit, um, this guy, there's a guy here on a bike, he's trying to get through the bush here. trying to but <laughs> wow <laughs> filming you here guys <laughs> wow you did that well And I'm filming you. <laughs> <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> there you go, he's dying. Wow. We're done there. Okay, so we we're reading up these steps. You notice here it's gone a bit uh, darker. We are uh, we are close to sunset at the moment. Uh, so I've been taking some uh, pictures on the way up. Mainly uh, mainly selfies and that. Uh, again, a few silhouette pictures. But, uh, yeah, I may show you at the end of the video. I put one or two in. Um, so what I've done, put the timer on, put the uh, put the phone in position. The uh, feature with the, uh, I think you can do it with most phones actually. Um, you can put the timer, set the timer. So set it for like ten seconds and get into position. Others that way. Others that way. I think we'll do up this way. See these little uh, white window and the little uh, bits out of the brickwork. We're just climbing up. Little uh, territory here. Go through it. Come back. There's a. Uh, more gardens. Little, uh, I don't know what this is down here. Let's take another look, see what it says. Looks like it's some uh, ornamental thing, maybe. Um, I don't know. Like this. Ah, so there's obviously a, uh, a sundial, obviously the piece of metal's missing, but uh, yeah, that's where it was, a sundial, very uh, nice, very decorative, there's some uh, bit of uh, land there or something, I don't know what it is, some... Uh, I'm just watching because it is doing uh, the lights dropping. I don't want to be out while it's dark. Um, 
I don't live too far away from here, but it's about uh, about a 25 minute walk back to the car, something like that. Well, there's some kind of building here, structure. I'm not too sure what it is. Um, yeah, we'll just have a wander around. Love these uh, stone paths though, like this. This is another. You notice they go down all the way like this, and they do up every. Well. Oh, well, maybe this was uh, an extension on what of the gardens. Because there is, uh, like I said before, there's about 46, 46 acres of land. Uh, which is uh, quite a, uh, yeah, big distance, quite a big place. I'm just wandering up here. Um, these look uh, like they've been freshly put down. Maybe uh, walking or access places. It's like there's something being built over there, maybe. Maybe a tar party, I don't know. I wander around. And we'll walk back up towards the tower. And we'll head back down towards the tower. At this rate, this video is going to be about an hour and a half long. <laughs> about to AO. As to the fun, I don't tend to do videos like this. And I especially don't do it on my own very often, walking. Um, but yeah, I thought today, hey, nice weather. Why not get out? Get out and have some fresh air after I finish work. Well, let's see what this says. Oh, this is the bungalow uh, which I was on about earlier on, which is like this. So Royston Cottage was the first was the first home, was manufactured by Manchester Portable Building Company and was delivered to the site by Orson Tart from Orich Railway Station. So Orich is just down the road um, from where I am. Um, yeah, I'm just reading it. Uh, so here, there's a bit here. When Lever died in 1925, his son, not having the passion for Rivington as father, sold the bungalow and the gardens at auction. Um, local brewer John Maid purchased them for uh, uh, 600 sorry, 15600 uh, He also bought a large quantity of bundle of contents for a further 10000 uh, When Maddy died in 1931 and his family tried to sell the bundle and the grounds, eventually in 1940, Liverpool Water Corporation just paid 3000 for Rivington Terrace and Gardens. Um, by 1947 the bungalow had been vandalised to the point where it needed uh, to be taken. The, the building was deemed unsafe. There was public outcry but none of the local authorities wanted to invest in its renovation. So de 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 demolition took place in 1948. I'll just read this bit to you as well. Restoration. By 2018, all the remaining of the bungalow was rough overgrown area, with a few remaining black and white tiles from the ladies' toilets during the uh, conservation project. Um, the bungalow footprints have been fully excavated. The tiles have been covered uh, to protect them. A wildlife outline in stone has been created to identify the ballroom where Lever would dance the night away with away with his yes. Below the bungalow lies Orchard Lawn, where we have recreated the original sundial. So the sundial I uh, showed over there. Um, it is a spot that Lever is said to have proposed to Elizabeth Ellen. All the original pathways have been exposed and cleared. The wild overgrown vegetation have been removed and the new drainage systems installed. The grass has been re sown and volunteers have rediscovered the rocky surroundings the area and cleared the planting 
beds for rubble left behind when the bu bungalow was demolished. So I'm reading this off a board um, just to let you know. So it's about uh, Rivington Terrace Art Gardens. Here's a small map of uh, where I actually am here. Oh yeah. So obviously this uh, this area here, I'm taking it, was the uh, is the ruins of what was the bungalow. It's uh, I'm sad that it's not here anymore. But as you know, nothing lasts forever, and it was deemed unsafe. So yes. I understand it was demolished. Well, yeah, it looks uh, looks like it was pretty big. It's a pretty big site, this. Just, uh, you see bits here. Uh, maybe that was something. Maybe the top was something that's... Uh, Rockery. Um, I don't know where these uh, these tiles are which uh, it mentioned, but uh, let's have a wander around. We never know. We might bump into them. We might not. This is uh, quite a big plot of land, actually. Considering so, I'm over here now. That's down there. This is here. Yeah. We're just wandering back up. Oh, you'll notice as well here, yeah, which I, I didn't actually see when I was on my uh, way down originally. There's actually another little um, pond here. It's like it had some kind of uh, fountain or something in the middle of it. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. Very nice indeed, that. And again, these here, the cracks in the rock to reduce uh, access for water, which are uh, great. I am taking a few pictures while I'm walking around as well. Rather than stopping them, I'm taking them on my phone. So we're wandering back up here. Um, I don't know if we can get access up via this way, the way I want to go. Um, no, it's, it's along this snaty path here. Um, so we'll just wander back down the way I came and wander up the path. Um, so I want to uh, go to the driveway. I'm just taking a few pictures. Yeah, I've just said that. I want to. Show you that view over there. See the sun setting. It's coming up to sunset. Wow. Check that. Right. Let's start walking. Start walking back up here. Just uh, pause the camera set.
So if you notice, I'm wandering back around here. Well, this is a uh, this is a wall which uh, runs parallel to the side of the uh, pigeon tower. So it's got all these little loot out windows in inside. In an archway, which would have been nice. It was back in the day, and still is. So you could come through and admire that sunset. Which is just going down over there. Wow. Can you see? Little holes here. Like this. There you have it. That's the thing, guys. There you go. We wander back down to the town. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. The explorer of the Pigeon Tower and gardens. We'll put a few pictures in as well on the end. And, uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, we'll wander back down here. Hopefully, we'll get back before it uh, goes dark. Yeah, to us, we'll. What time is it now? It's currently uh, 8 pm in the evening. It's still light. Well, it's great. Say, hard to show you. Thank you. 
You're brave. in a second. <laughs> it's down there. It's down there. It's down there. Slowly. Slowly but surely. And the rest are really. And it stopped. this way. to see that through the edge to be quiet. There's a road coming down. We 
to see the noises. Oh dear. That noise. That noise is a deer. Probably a female deer trawling. Onto a little one. Rear on. Lot of barking. We're just being quiet. It's to be really quiet. So we might see them in a minute as they come out. As they come up here. I'll take my eyes off them for them. They're up there in a minute. I can see them up there, but it's hard to. See you through the bush. So, chances are they'll come out in a minute and jump over, maybe. Just watching up. It was right on the edge as I were walking down, they were right on the edge. Um, and quiet. Yeah, people around. It's not very quiet. It's going to smell it much up here. I just dropped something there. I can hear them in the bush being super quiet. So, we're back up here. And we may spot them. Maybe. Maybe. Not down there. Mother stopped calling though. No, no way to be seen. No way to be seen. Oh well, it's worth a try. Walk back down. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. Walk on here. Walking down, nearly back to the tower, or back to where the tower should be. 
So there's some sheep in the, in the distance there. I'm just keeping my eyes and ears open. People in the woods down there, so chance of any deers being there very uh, highly unlikely. If I was on my own, and there weren't anyone around then I'd, I probably would have got some footage then of uh, deers, but uh, getting a bit too much noise, I've obviously still had them up. We're walking back down towards the tower, we're nearly there. Not too far to go, just at the end of this path. That would be my car. So, Hey, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, the explore or the walk I've been on today. Quite a uh, long one. I'll speed things up in between for you. Um, so it's not dragging on as long. Obviously, it's quite all right. Nice, exciting walk I've done there. Um, I need to do that more often. To wait for long walks. It's probably been, well, let me... Let me see what time it is. So it's coming up to half past eight in the evening. So I've probably been out about two hours, something like that. Um, yeah. Can you see the nice uh, view around me? No, that's not my tire in the distance. Um, the, that's not mine. Um, anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Smash that thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you've not done already. Till next time, peace.